have a guess guys <clears throat> just briefly at the final leg with this farrier Roy's just put the roof rack on today that he made the other week that's pretty cool that is pretty cool Anyway, if I was after a real small micro camper van and I had a budget of about £3,000, I would look no further than this amazing little van that's come off Thames Valley Police Service. 180,000 miles, but you wouldn't think it. No damage to that sill. Gonna come around. Fog lights? Come on, get real. Get real. Ugh. Hopefully you'll notice as well, it's got a brand, brand new set of Michelins the whole way around. Ugh. So it said, in 2006, on the service history, it says, kit out as post van. So I presume it's been doing something to do with delivering stuff. <laughs> but yeah, we've got... Solid ply, ply floor. Doesn't seem to be any damp in here. Bit of tracking there. Definitely keep the floor. Some sort of aerial or something's been in there. Looks like it's nicely sealed though. Spare wheel. And the changing facilities. Oh, of course course. So it's obviously had a central locking fault in the past because it's got a new system on here. Unless this is an original system that they've put on there which is some sort of extra protection. I don't know but I've never seen one like that. The uh, chassis key certainly doesn't do anything but yeah there's two fobs to open and lock the doors. There's a double seat in it which I may end up swapping for two singles. Take the bulkhead out, walk through the cab Kind of works in my favour because I've just sold an ambulance to someone and they want a double seat and these are really tricky to find. So that's probably going to be happening. But yeah, I mean, for a clean, it would just be a really nice place to be. No air conditioning. Yeah, I know, but can't win them all. Super, super clean van. Really, really pleased. Okay. Ventilation. I would, I would love, I would love nothing more than to spend my whole weekend making this fan amazing. I really would. I just, I love... The expensive vehicles are really nice, but you know when you just get a bargain and it's going to be a bargain for someone and it's going to be a good van for them? I just like that. So. Got a bit of a hunt. And I've got a suspicion of what that might be. In fact, let me just go ahead and diagnose it right now. Need a torch. I suspect 
is quite common on these. There's air in this housing and it's usually down to the seal. So I've probably got 10 of those in stock. I'll whack one of them on there. If that doesn't work, I'll plug my new diagnostic in because this should be running without hunting. But yeah, the engine sounds sweet as a nut, so that's going to be something daft. All right, I know I'm I know probably getting a bit boring now, but this is another way of doing something. Knock it off, come to it, let's see if it has the same sort of behaviour. Yes, it does. Oh, that's, that, that, that needs sorting. Okay, so what we got? We got a 56 plate. Is it registered 06? It's registered 06. And it's off the police service. And looks like it's had some, a clutch. 179. It's informed us that it's been serviced. It hasn't told us when the cam belt's been done, which is frustrating. yeah I love I love that loss of power when it was only a year old loss of power and I have people that buy a van off me that own it for six months and all of a sudden this 15 year old van that they've owned for six months and paid seven thousand pounds for you're a bastard Rupert you're a dodgy car salesman can happen to anything, I promise you that. It's almost certainly less likely to happen to something like that. And equally, these are really easy to fix. So, yeah. If I had a £3,000 budget, and I wanted a van that was serviced, had 12 months MOT, and was super clean, I would buy this van. 